Hi everyone, I'm Mario. Hi, I, run Mario. A, I run a website called Mario Presents and have built a social media following under the same name. The question we ask ourselves today is who, or who are we and why are we here? I'm a Hispanic son of legal immigrants and a gay man. I wear my personality on my sleeve and heels on my feet. Some would say that I'm promoting a miscreant lifestyle while others call it brave and courageous. I call it control. I represent the farthest reaches of our Republican tent and I'm, my goal is to present to you a voice that encourages our movement to grow. We have so many allies that many of us aren't even aware of. I watched one entertainer and that's what I'm going to call this person, an entertainer, walk into a Trump rally in the costume of a Trump cheerleader, pom-poms and all, with fear and doubt in her heart. She was afraid because underneath the facade was a gay man. She was afraid that our patrons were going to shun her and tell her to go away. Because we don't, because a lie told often enough and long enough eventually becomes true. Yeah. Trump supporters hate drags. Instead, our patriots embrace this art form because he did it as a protest. A protest to the left. Patriots come in all fashions. And it's through these antics that we begin to shatter age-old stereotypes. Me standing here in front of all of you is surely going to cause naysayers to call me a fake homosexual, a traitor, or an Uncle Tom. I enjoy it when they call me names, because it validates the fact that I'm here using my First Amendment to the chagrin of a community who thinks that they own my vote. My cultural, thank you. My cultural blanket is made up of people from across the political and ideological tapestry. And there's one thing that we can all agree on. We're all Americans. We elect leaders, thank you. We elect leaders to pass laws and enforce our borders. Yet here in, here in California and locally in Simi Valley, we have leaders who are aiding and abetting criminals, helping them break our laws. Everyone's had the argument with an open border supporter and the stalemate usually occurs when they say, oh, haven't you broken the law? Don't you speed? I'm here to remind you guys that speeding, the infraction of speeding is on a sliding scale and the faster you go, the stiffer the penalty. We must put a full stop on helping people break our laws. Not in my town, not in my city, and definitely not in Simi Valley. Ruth Luavanos and Gavin Newsom don't feel beholden to us, the citizenry. There is no financial shortage in California because what you don't know is that in 2017, California passed a law called SB2. SB2 imposed a fee of $75 on every recorded document in the state. On day one of that fee, our, our Los Angeles, California, the city of Los Angeles, the county of Los Angeles made over a million dollars. And by March of this year, the state said that they would have $125 million available for grants to benefit underserved communities. Today, days before, Thanksgiving, the state's website says it's going to announce recipients summer of 2019. Where's the money, Mr. Newsom? Did we buy it? Did we use it to buy Aunt Pelosi a nip? The rest of the state is dealing with wanton homelessness and a fleeing citizenry while you what? Hobnob with Andrew Yang or pander for votes in Santa Clarita. Our local municipalities are often run by conservatives, but when we sit out elections, we elect liberals. Last election cycle, we watched this district turn purple for the first time. Yay! Now we have derated commentators vying to take this 
this district and turn it completely blue. The other side relishes in the fact we lost because they can spend our money, but forget that for all their utopian ideas, we the taxpayers are paying for them. Our country is neither red or blue because we're all people. Liberty is something we should all champion because I, because I defend your right to tell me no, I won't bake your, your cake because of my religion. Just as well as I hope that you would defend my right to spend my life with the soul that I choose. Yes. I'll be the first to tell the Rainbow Plantation that no, you can't have your wedding in my church. My, your gay wedding in my church, my church doesn't allow it. I'm Catholic, I'm confirmed in everything. Find another church that will. Our space may be beautiful and aesthetically everything you want, but even heterosexual parishioners will not be wed in holy matrimony if they don't follow the tenets of the faith. My church is not for sale, nor is my God. Capitulating to childish demands, like the ones that cause Chick-fil-A to succumb to pressure, or Target to have homosexuals in their ad after they donated millions to traditional marriage, doesn't work. Ever. We have, to, we have to be united in this effort. We have to be bold and we have to pay attention because the media will seek to divide us. Yep. I was recently the target of a political sculptor who wanted to cause a rift between me and my brothers, friends, patriots, who have their own following. This sculptor whispered into my ear like a serpent. I've never seen them share your stuff before. They've never tagged you in anything. Why have they never done anything for you? I hit a nail so hard on the head that it caused the entire structure to shake vipers from every corner. Our voices are being silenced and some of us are completely erased digitally. We are roaring and 2020 is going to be the year that the world finally hears us. Stand strong and stand proud because we're on the right side of history in more ways than one. Conservatives come in many colors but our fabric is definitely made in the USA. I'm Mario Presents. Follow me on Instagram, like me on Facebook, and bookmark MarioPresents.com. Thank you for your time.